Hey everybody, this is Greg at Big Hammer Wines. I want to talk to you briefly about Amato, one of my favorite categories, and something that is underappreciated in general. I think because it's a, in a different language, what is Amato? Amato in Spanish and Italian just means bitter. So oftentimes we have a, a base wine, or sometimes it's a neutral grape distilled spirit that is higher proof alcohol that they water back in order to get to an Amato. Amatos tend to be a little bit higher alcohol than vermouths. Vermouths are also fortified, aromatized, but because they're base wines, their alcohol percentage typically sits around 15 to 24 percent, whereas Amato would typically be, because of the grape, if it's using grape distilled spirit and being watered back, it's typically going to be like 25 to as much as high as 40 percent alcohol. So Amato is uh, incredibly versatile. I love it as aperitif. I love it most commonly in Italy you'll find it as uh, digestivo. So after dinner with a biscotti or something slightly sweet or in the case of Italians often with a cigarette. Um, this is three new offerings from a producer in Calabria called uh, Vecchio Magazzino Doganale which means the old office for customs. So Calabria in uh, southern Italy has a port and, and trading post and that customs office was is now this production facility for this distillery. So how do they make a motto? Well typically they'll take many herbs, grasses, bitter components. So think about roots, think about uh, thyme, oregano, lavender, uh, rose, rose hips, uh, mandarin peels, uh, all the different things you might expect in southern Italy, they'll take them, they'll dry them, and then they'll use vacuum distill or a pot distill to actually uh, make a, uh, a aromatized alcohol that has the flavor of each of those components. Then they mix those components into a, uh, a proprietary blend to come up with their final uh, flavor profile in the alcohol. Then as I said it's watered back, they add sugar which is often why they're colored. It's an inverted sugar that uh, gives it kind of this caramel color. So Amaro Importante is well regarded uh, and, 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 and many would say one of the best Amaros now on the market and this recipe comes from the founders of uh, Vecchio Magazzino who took their grandfather's diaries, uh, their handwritten journals, and went and re-engineered and brought back this 19th century recipe for their Amato. It's called Amato Importante in the U.S., but in Italy it's called Jefferson. As you may know, uh, there's Jefferson Bourbon, so they couldn't use that name. The Washington is their Amato, which is imbued with orange, orange peels, and uh, uh, aromatics from the Mediterranean. This one I, I love. Uh, it's it's certainly something that you have to try if you love orange and mandarin. This one is called Giocondo, which uh, uh, maybe is a play. La Gioconda in Italian is the Mona Lisa, um, Da Vinci's Mona Lisa. This is a, a cabaret label, a very cool bottle. The flavors here is with espresso. So if you love espresso martinis, if you love uh, coffee flavor for a dessert, this is so awesome. Keep it in the refrigerator, pour it on ice, and that's dessert as far as I'm concerned. With these guys, anything you use a vermouth with, like say in a Manhattan, or um, uh, this, this could be a, a good substitute. And obviously it's a little bit higher alcohol, so it's gonna be a little bit stronger, but it's gonna have much darker, bitter flavors if you like that style. But these things are awesome just over ice, uh, both this mandarin or orange and the Amaro Importante. Awesome with ice, awesome with a touch of soda, and you, you can play with the ratio. Uh, I usually just do a touch of soda because I don't want it watered down, especially if it's already on ice, it's gonna dilute anyway. But uh, if you add more water, like two or three parts water to one part of the Amaro, Obviously, it more, becomes more of a flavored spritz and lower in alcohol. So then it's very refreshing uh, on a hot day, especially as an aperitivo. So 
get into Amaro if you uh, uh, have had the, the taste, especially for bitter uh, um, wines or, or more bitter flavored spirits. You will love Amadi. Cheers.